All right, we're going to get started with the meditation shortly, but before we do, I just wanted to give you some quick pointers on how to get the most out of it. So we do go quite deep with this one, so make sure you clear some space during the meditation. I think it's about 20 minutes. You'll be able to see, obviously, on the timeline on the video here, do clear some space afterwards too, so that you can either rest or journal or, you know, be out in nature if it's safe to do that where you are. Um, clear some space because this is quite a deep process. Now, just for context, I actually recorded this in January. And if we cast our minds back to January, I know it's, it seems like centuries ago, but during January, um, Australia was experiencing those bushfires. So you may hear references throughout the meditation about the climate and the environment and the animals, because that was really on my mind and in my heart during that time. Obviously, this was filmed long before the virus um, happened, uh, the outbreak happened. I had no idea, of course, any of this was going to transpire. And so um, hopefully everything that's contained in this meditation is still appropriate and helpful at this time in helping you to really connect to how you can use this time to really connect to what it is you're here to do and ultimately help and be of service. Some of you may have heard me do meditations like this before, some of you haven't, and so if you don't know, um, even though I am very practical and grounded, uh, this is a really, really spiritual meditation, right? It's pretty next level, it's quite out there, and so if that's new for you, then just go easy with it and take what resonates. This meditation is also taken from my program Infinite Love, so if you want more meditations like this, please do accept that invitation, the details are down in the description. Okay, let's get started. And when you're ready, allow your eyes to close. Feeling the ground beneath your feet, connecting to the earth. Taking a deep breath in and out. Taking as many deep breaths as you need. Breathing in and out, breathing in and out, bringing your attention to the soles of your feet as you allow roots to grow into the earth, going down deeper and deeper and deeper. Growing down, down, down to the center of the earth. Wrapping yourself into the crystalline energy at the center of the earth. Allowing yourself to be enriched and nourished by the energy at the center of the earth. Allowing that to ground you in. And we now invite in the gods, the goddesses, the angels, the archangels, the ascended, ascended masters, the light beings and the galactic beings, and of course the Lemurians. We invite them in as we open up our crown to receive information from the cosmos. We ask that every chakra point is lit up and cleaned and energized and cleansed. We ask that all the fragments of our being and our self and our spirit and our soul return to us now from all lives, all realities, all dimensions. Zipping up our energetic field, bringing all those parts of us together now, knowing we are always whole and complete. No matter where the fragments of ourself and our soul may be at any given time. You see now in front of you a beautiful, beautiful garden. It looks like something from another world. It's light, it's bright. It looks almost magical. It looks like fantasy. And as you walk further and further into the garden... You see that there's a community here. The people here are so happy, working together in harmony. Nature is in harmony. 
everyone working together, no differences. We are all the same, we are all one. As you continue walking through this community, you are led up to a, a peak in the community, a, a small hill. And on the top of it, you see a building that doesn't resemble anything you've seen on earth before. It looks as if it's completely covered in a crystal, a clear quartz not made from from bricks of the earth it looks like something out of the future or the past you're not sure but you know that that's your next step as you approach the door the doors swing open for you everything is white But it's not a, a clerical white or a stark white. It's white that is iridescent and shines and glows. And in the middle of the inner courtyard of this beautiful sacred building, you see a prism, a clear quartz connected to the earth and going all the way to the heavens and above. This prism shining and glowing and you realize that all of the light that you were seeing in this building, all of the iridescent colors, almost like the pearl of a shell, all of the flashes of rainbow colors you were seeing in the building were all coming from this beautiful, beautiful clear crystal in the center of this courtyard. Come, sit with us. And the guide welcomes you into the circle as you sit down, holding the hands of all the other students who are here. From throughout the world, who are called to do this work at this time. And as you hold hands in this circle, you welcome in the beautiful energy of this stone, which is not of this earth, and at the same time is connected to it. From your solar plexus area now, from your sacral chakra, from that, area in the center of your torso you feel yourself energetically connecting by this invisible cable into this beautiful stone you feel yourself plugging in and you welcome in its energy its wisdom and its information it is connected to all that is good all that is wise all that is of the light and we request now all the information, all the coding, everything that we need for our journey to be downloaded to us to the level that we can withstand at this time. Increasing the dial, imagining a dial on your belly button, turning that dial as high up as it will go, as high as you feel comfortable receiving, allowing that light, that coding, that information to flood your system, your body and your being and your soul and allowing that to come in now. Allow yourself to see the images in your mind. What is it I'm here to do? What is it I'm here to teach? What is it I am here to help with? How do I do this? Who do I do this with? And watch as the images unfold for you. You are being given information now. Relax and allow the images to come.
And as we sit here together in our soul circle, you hear rain outside. You hear the rain coming down thick and fast, nourishing the ground, cleansing this building, the rain washing away anything that is not appropriate here any longer. Washing it away surely and slowly and gently and leaving everything brand new. If you wish, there is another room that you can go to. This is the room of the warrior. If this speaks to you, you can come with us. And those of you who wish to be coded with the information of the warrior, you can rise now. And we turn to our right and walk through to the room of the warrior. We enter a room that is quite different. We see artifacts and we see stones and we see swords and we see shields, but these are not swords and shields of, of battle. These are swords and shields that are used only when absolutely necessary. And on the sword particularly, you can see symbols and their light codes. And we now welcome in the goddess Diana to sit with us. And all of the Amazonian women, their spirits, their beings to sit with us now. We allow ourselves to receive the information and the coding of the warrior. Knowing that this is our path to create change. And we receive that now. We must fight for what's right. Just as those who are organized in war create destruction on a massive scale, we need to create change on a massive scale. We need to show the same amount of commitment and conviction and organization to create the change we need to create in this world for the environment, for the children of Gaia, for the animals for our earth to thrive once again. This will require action. It will sometimes require force. It will never require violence. But it does require action and we need you to do that now. Breathing that in as we bow and thank Goddess Diana and the Amazonians and all of the beautiful goddesses who've been with us in spirit today, giving us this information to stand up for what's right, to say no to lies, to say no to the old paradigm, to create a new structure and to create a new earth. Know that you can return here at any time to the warrior room. And be re-energized when you feel weary. It is not about the battle. It is about the outcome. It is not about political parties and countries and opinions. This is about, about us all coming together to create a collective change that we simply must make. And when we do, we create a community like the one here that the Lemurians have created, where we all live in harmony with one another, in harmony with one another, in harmony with the earth, knowing we have everything we need from her without having to take from her. And the earth will reach equilibrium once again. But we cannot do this without you. This is not a time for complacency. It will only happen when we create that change. And we need to do that now. Asking that all the information we've received today.
from both the Lemurians and the Amazonians, in the main courtyard and in the warrior room. We thank you. We bow to you. We thank all of you, anyone who has worked with us today, the gods, the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, the light beings and the goddesses, the galactics, and of course the Lemurians. Thank you for having us in your reality today, in your community. Thank you for this experience. If you wish, you can lay out on the ground, on the grass here, just outside the courtyard. You can stay here for a moment, or if you're ready, you can start to make your way up the building. As you walk out of the building, you take a look at this community and know that we can create this here on Earth at this time. And the Earth will be at peace once again. And slowly, start to remember your feet on the ground. You find yourself walking out of this beautiful, beautiful space. And though we would love to stay here for longer, we have work to do now. You can come back here at any time for more information. We invite you to write, paint, create, to think, to sit in meditation after this visit. I know that any ideas that come through, helpful people, coincidences that are not coincidences anything that is presented to you now will help you on your mission and we thank you for being here at this time what moves you the most is what you are here to help with whether that is the animals or the climate or the people help where you feel called to help we ask now that <clears throat> Our crown is closed. We draw up our roots from the center of the earth. We remember our body. As we wiggle our toes and our fingertips, you might want to just uh, move your, your ankles, move your feet around in a circle, move your hands around in a circle. Roll your shoulders back. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Welcome back. I don't think we need any words. As always, rest up, take care of yourself. If you want to have an epic bath, salt bath, oils, go do that. Um, we need you. I love you.